Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Plant Zoo. My name is Nissa and today I am confused. We are looking at the Yellowtail Amberjack mod by Leaf Jin and Buff Zoo. When I google it, there's multiple pictures of drawings with drawings like this. This is how they sh should look. I also found of that compare like different fish that kind of look alike and this is the specific one for the yellowtail ambub jack but when i look at this mod and even if i look at their um what's it called uh, a nexus here it doesn't look like that was what they were aiming for at all um and it looks like it's on purpose it doesn't look like that um so I, I'm a little bit confused. I, I'm very confused, to be honest. Very, very, very confused. Um, so we're gonna take it for what it is. It's a mod that looks like this. Uh, and then we will, of course, look at the details as we normally do. But as you can see, it doesn't look even remotely close to this specific coloration. So I'm not gonna focus too much on that. You see, even the, ooh, even the fins looks like they should be yellow and they're not um so something's going on and i'm confused so we're gonna look at it but just be aware that that's just not how it's going <laughs> uh, as you can see a lot of them here is in the water uh we have a few here on top of the water again the water over here is not deep enough for deep diving uh, but you can see the rest of them pretty much are over here again some of them on top of water some of them under uh, and you can see here some of them sk more likely skate on top of the water um, but yeah let's shouldn't we have a little more sunlight I think we should that helped a lot okay, so here we are uh, we do have the little yellow stripe going down here. We have the dark fins. We have this kind of unique uh, facial shape. Uh, it's not so unique. Multiple fish have them, but it's different than some other fishes. Uh, you can see here it's also fairly wide in the front and then thinner in the back. The fins does overall looks nice. As you can see, they are kind of thin. Again, most fins on fits are so thin that you can kind of see uh, through them, which we do not have here at a in any fish much. It isn't this specific, but it, they are nice and thin, and it does it looks more realistic than having some big blotchy thing overall i do like this uh we do have the scale texture but i'm pretty sure that it's painted on which isn't necessarily an issue it's just something that some people would like to actually have them molded but since this fish is not that big it is a if adult yes it is um this fish is not that big you can see if i try to get even closer it will disappear so because of that i do understand that you w didn't want to go down and mold such a small scale uh on bigger fish like animals it makes more sense to mold them individually we have a little bit of here where it looks like it's cut in a weird way but besides that it honestly looks good the eye looks goofy a little flat you can see here, it actually have a height to it, but for some weird reason from here, it actually looks flat. Let's set a move on it. Um, yeah, it moves nicely. It moves very, very, very nicely. Uh, it does seem like all of them have the same color, though when I bought them, this is a off color. This is the normal color. Uh, you can see it on the pictures. You can see here. This one. And this one. You can see the pictures are different. Um, I think the only thing I can see is that this is more blue toned up here. 
and this one is more like orangey tone but i'm not sure if i move up maybe it's just a lightning thing yeah it's a little yellow there it's a little orange there but besides that it's really not that big of a difference uh, so it's something that i would actually pick like i really want this color over that color it's not enough for me to have a feeling like that uh, but as you can see, they have a really nice size. Oh, it's fins. It's because they're floating up there. Uh, they have a really nice size, so you could have a little pool or something with them. And then they could um, have something else walking around. Or you could have them like in a little pond that wouldn't actually be a habitat. Of course, it needs to be for the animals to be there for the game. But it wouldn't like look like a habitat or function like in a real zoo like a habitat. It would just more be a little centerpiece like a statue or some plants or something like that. Just a little koi pond or something like that. I know this is not koi. Um, I do believe that we have some pregnants in here. Uh, oh, we have a baby here. Yeah, as you can see, it's not s not even smaller than the others. Um, and I do understand because they would be really, really small, but it's just, if you really wanted those really small fishies between the already small fishies, uh, then you won't get that. And uh, some of you guys will be okay with it. Some of you will find it an issue. Uh, I do understand why the mothers made this choice. Um, so yeah, you can do, use them for a few different things. Again, you can also simply make an aquarium, but I think that's pretty much on the nose. So I think what else we could do with it. Uh, and they have a nice size for a lot of things. Though, if you want an aquarium only with these, make sure that you either have enough of them in there or you have like... Um, Something else also in there. Oh, I actually think we forgot to go through Zoopedia. So here it is. It's the least concerned animal. Oceans worldwide. So this is not real. <laughs> uh, Arctic and temperate uh, biomes and one square meters of land and water. I don't think they can set this to less than that. Um, Needs uh, 6 to 42 degrees Celsius, great to fins above a meter and a half again. They're fish, they shouldn't have to have so high a fence. But when you build your own fence, you can technically just take the see through fence, make it taller, and then just build something smaller. I've done that a few times. Group size up to 100, gender doesn't matter, aggression levels equals to dominance. Polygamous, uh, confident around humans, should not enter the habitat. Uh, grow to three feet long. That's a meter. That's a meter. I have the 2D fun bungalow zero. It's because it's the same I always use in these videos. Uh, to compare size uh, and I'm not sure about you but I'm pretty sure this is not a meter pretty sure um, but again I'm actually confused maybe they did accidentally put another mud in here but then still use the yellow amberjack in here um, so it's maybe Maybe the model and the superior doesn't match. That is a possibility. Uh, live for around 50 years. 10 pounds. That is four and a half. Roughly. Kilo. Um, reach sexual maturity at age 10. And can reproduce until they die. They will give between two and seven offspring. A year and be pregnant for three months. And they should be very easy to get to reproduce in captivity. For enrichment, we have a lot here, but keep in mind, if you will want them to stay in the water, don't put enrichments on land, such as the sprinkler, blood sent marker, bubble bath, water jet. Um, the, bolt, bolts. the balls can 
is stay within the uh, on water so they can play with them there and the same kind of rubber doggy uh, they do not have the pumpkin ball though same with food enrichment i would stay with the underwater fish feeder because it stays in the water so they want to stay there any other thing here will clearly put them on land uh, but just for good measure, it's the frozen pot pumpkin, the restrained feeder, and the frozen block of fish. Do not have any in species enrichment, though. So, but as you can see, they have a nice color to them. They are clear to see from a distance, even from out here. So exactly that's why I think they would be really good to actually either a, co a little pond. Or a big aquarium where they can be in the back and then you have something bigger in front or something like that. Um, this much just confuses me a lot. But um, it's Monday, so what we're gonna do with it. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, you know the drill. Like, subscribe and turn on the <laughs> bell of notifications. So you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.